Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. Now let's see what works and what doesn't work. Like I said, no guarantees. He's got to play with the options, right? So your job, good thing about this too, is uh, we haven't worked together nope. in this drill. Never. For this drill, for the grab and stab. So, yep, so anything can happen. And this is going to be a problem solver. Good job. Okay. So what I'm looking for now is like, again, the types of attacks usually that happen is the person, maybe you didn't see the knife, and sometimes they'll also lead with their leg or their hand. And so sometimes they'll have the blade here or covered this way, you might not see it. And what they're doing is they're using their free limbs to come at you. And also the, the various, you know, the attack could vary. It's not necessarily, you know, he might be coming this, you know, doing this and stabbing up here. He might be stabbing this way. He might be trying to cut you. He might be pumping this way. And if you, again, if you jam, he might, you know, the angle is always going to change. He's not always going to go, uh, uh, uh. Oh, look, he blocked me 17 times. Let me keep doing this. No, he's going to do this once, twice, three times. He's going to realize it's not getting in, so he's going to fucking do this all kinds of ways. That is some fucked up shit. That, I mean, like I said, there's no guarantees. There's no way I can sit there and tell you, well, you know, while he's coming under here, first you'll block this way, and then he's going to come over here, and so you'll block this way, and then if he goes underneath again, I'll tactile sensitivity. No, I'm sorry. I, it's not going to happen like that, unfortunately. I wish. I mean, fuck. I wish it was that easy, but, so, it, so, but it isn't. Just you're going to discover this as you're doing the drill. When, when he is blocking me from the start, oh, yeah, that's it. It starts to hurt. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. After this, this, three or four times, it starts to hurt, so you're going to want to change yeah. without even thinking about it. Yeah, and the thing is, is that it doesn't only hurt your partner, but it also hurts you. And you got to be careful because of stuff like V-grips and C-grips, your thumb is exposed. And that guy's fucking got the size of an arm like Popeye over here. He's fucking coming at you. If I'm doing this, he might go quite slowly. Sorry. Okay, let's do it this way so you can see. Go really slow motion, right? If I'm doing this and I don't catch it strong enough, my angle is just a little bit off, he's going to bust both my, my thumbs and fucking stab me anyway. So you gotta be careful of trying to grab it like this or like that, which is like I prefer to use my arm and have him the jam on the arm. Again, not foolproof. And yes, he might I might miscalculate. He might stab me through the fucking wrist here. I don't know. But shit, I don't know what else to do, to be honest. It's like, how else am I gonna jam this arm? How am I gonna stop this from pumping into me? Right? This is why all the pre-contact stuff, not allowing the situation develop to this is, is critical. And this is where our forte comes in, is that we don't want this to happen. But it happens, it's possibility we might have screwed up, maybe something went wrong along the way, you might find yourself in this situation. God forbid it never happens, but here's what we've come up with. Eric? <clears throat> now let's watch this unfold. There you go. <clears throat> and great, good job. Okay. You got stabbed? Stabbed many a times. Many a times. Where? I feel, I feel it all here. Yeah. Um, can yeah. You? Yeah. A couple of times. There you go. That, again, I like I said, no guarantees, folks. This is this is as real as it gets. There's this is one of the hardest things, and I've I've studied many knife different knife, different knife fighting systems. I've researched this stuff. I haven't found anybody who covers it adequately anyway. But I was overkill. In real life, 